some of the stories going on right now. Sure. That are airing right now. Yeah. Of course, there's kind of a little. You're kind of leaning back into Teresa, so to speak. <laughs> Literally and figuratively <laughs> leaning back into Teresa. Victor's sticking his nose in there, which means Maggie's going to get pulled into things. Talk about just the dynamic we're going to see. It's just a fun little soapy, awkward dynamic going on in that mm -hmm. household right now because mm -hmm. you have you have Maggie who's who's tolerant and understanding, then you have Victor who just wants to see Teresa thrown off off a cliff. And you have Brady, who's completely conflicted about the mother of his child, but also can't help, you know, remember what she did to his, to his, to his father. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's and great. He knows it's Maggie's great because there's happy. no clear yeah. path, there's no right. blueprint for yeah, what's going to happen. Exactly. And as fans saw last week on the show, things wow. can change in an instant. I hate you. Let's make love. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I assume that Teresa's not going anywhere because, you know, Victor tried to pick her up. Mm. Well, careful with your. As soon as you make an assumption, though, you know. Yeah, there you go. We throw you a boomerang. And I honestly, yeah. And with the 50th celebration here, I think the writers have thrown. They got a ton of boomerangs in their arsenal, and they yes. want. They're treating the audience uh, with, with some real respect in the sense they're they're not spelling things out that easily. Um, they're leaving a little bit to the imagination, and just when you think you know what's going on, oh, you know, because audiences audiences are smart. Yeah. You know, they, 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 want to be, they want to be fooled. They want to be tricked. Mm -hmm. And I think daytime is, a, is interesting in, in that time, in, in today's day. Well, Victor has always had this edge to him. And Maggie wants to soften him up a little bit. Of course, she knows she can't. But she has a soft spot for Brady. Uh, she's not sure about Teresa yet. Um, she, because Brady is kind of, she knows. She sees that he's falling for her. And she's a little concerned about it. You know, and um, she's going to have to straighten her up, you know, before she's completely convinced that this is the, this is the girl for him. Mm -hmm. Teresa and Brady, they've always enabled each other's bad behavior. Exactly. So, and, and she sees uh, that train coming. She's, and she, she's lived I've that I've been train, there. So. I've been there. I've done the alcohol storyline. I've done the, you know, the uh, substance abuse. And it's like, oh, I see it coming. And she's a little manipulator, Teresa. And, and Brady is, is, he's so kind and sweet and he's vulnerable he's willing yes and, and he's, silly he's been and without spongy. for a while <laughs> moldable and flexible and and okay. so cute <laughs> and that's what's most and important and that's the most important god thing. i just hope i stay cute yeah uh, i saw you i think we, i saw both of you we yes. were at the 50th party yes. last weekend yes you were you were doing some stage work oh my god <laughs> is, is he work. amazing oh He's no amazing. no no, no. I he was, is so I was amazing i've ever seen you live like i've seen you on like oh. video and stuff oh god but here's here's my question it's a very technical question oh good when you're doing the pelvic thrust <laughs> is it about foot placement is it about the arch the back what what makes a good pelvic thrust because you, oh, you were working goodness. it up there well here's here's the deal with the pelvic thrusting okay my and everybody i've ever if you performed got it with, trusted, honey. if you got it <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say when i do when i did when i do, <laughs> can't even get out the words i'm sorry i'm sorry i played i played elvis for four years on on joseph and he made <laughs> technical dream coat and i well all i knew about elvis at the time was I gotta thrust my hips around. Right? Oh, boy, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do that a lot. And sure enough, it, just, it kind of stuck. So whenever I sing anything, I just have to move my hips. It's just kind of connected. Exactly. I sing a note, and the hips move. That's it. And it's kind of bothered. And my wife is like, "Can you just put those away for a minute?" No. And you we were saying, "Go." You can't sing a go, ballad and go, go. Go. The audience was eating it up. Of they course were, they were. They were loving it. So the, of I, course. Well, I didn't that was the biggest do it. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. No, you didn't. I did the opposite. Did I hurt anybody? <laughs> Did I thrust anybody off the stage? I don't know. Heart palpitations. Maybe I'll probably get sued Mama. next week.